SEO testing. This is a big pet issue of mine, and I think that SEO testing really is one of the signals of a top-class SEO consultant, and there's a very good reason for that. Unfortunately, in the SEO world, there's far too much kind of recirculated myth masquerading as fact, and plenty of people saying, but I heard about this, or somebody said that, so on. And what you find is, over time, a lot of these kind of myths just gather more and more uh, credibility as more and more people repeat them. And you actually need to break out of that and start doing some serious testing for yourself in order to just break free of that myth and actually it's quite eye-opening when you do start some serious testing what in fact works and what doesn't work. So in order to make this really happen it's vital to actually set up an ongoing testing regime and to make that work you need the resources in place to do that. Such resources could include software or could include an outsourcer, could include staff, could include time in your schedule. But it's very, very important, like any aspect of your business that, that you value and is kind of crucial to your success, that you actually assign the proper, give it the proper resources to make it possible. So whether it's the time, whether it's the software, whether it's the knowledge development, whether it's the people to do it, it's really important not just to have testing as a vague kind of goal, but actually back it up with some real resources. It's also important to test every assumption for yourself. Do no follow backlinks past no page rank and have no effect? Is it important to have only backlinks from relevant sites? These are the kind of myths that just get pumped around all over the web. And the only way to really, really break free, as I say on that, is to test these assumptions and to kind of have this ongoing testing regime set up. And even what Matt and I are talking about in SEO Experts Academy, it's good if you can get into the habit of developing a testing regime whereby the most fundamental aspects that are important to what you do in SEO, you test for yourself and you can develop your own ideas and your own strategies, especially when you start pooling different tactics together, different techniques, different software packages and so on that's when your SEO career can really go places. So a good way to think of SEO Experts Academy, now that you're here in the advanced section, is that really this is kind of a starting point or a particular point on your journey, and it certainly isn't the end. What Matt and I have tried to do is give you the technique and technical skills and strategic overview and so on, but really it's up to you now and the habits and mental discipline and focus that you bring to SEO and possibly your internet marketing activities that will determine your success. And a big part of that I view with SEO is being a constant tester. I know in my own SEO career, I really only started to make massive progress when I began to test. Not only was that useful from a point of view of kind of myth debunking, but it was also very important from a point of view of developing valuable products that would be useful to other people who were also locked into believing in those myths which were kind of severely restraining their SEO and internet marketing activities. Now surprisingly, in fact shockingly, most SEOs and internet marketers that I talk to, even quite senior ones, do not test at all. They don't test SEO, they don't test conversions, and that's scandalous, and we all need to do a lot more testing and tweaking and tracking. So if you're one of those few who follows through and does set up a proper testing regime, not necessarily just with SEO, but it could be split testing, A-B testing, multivariate testing on landing pages, sales pages, opt-in pages, you will be in the small group of highly successful SEO consultants while people who don't test and tend to just follow the crowd or just follow the myths and then recirculate them as fact, uh, you know, you're going to be in great shape. You're going to be way ahead of that group of people. So anytime you're wondering about a particular aspect of SEO, test, 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 and do it with a batch of sites, not just one. Google has kind of too much inbuilt variation, in my view, to accurately make a real determination on one site. So typically, and if you follow any of my experiments on Traffic Planet, you'll see the way I do it there. And if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link below this video. 
but it's a, it's a great place to go and watch how uh, members there are conducting experiments, what I'm doing. But what I typically do is I'll set up four identical sites and I'll employ the testing regime or test the, the particular thing I'm looking at. I try to keep it pretty simple so that I can make a reasonable determination, but typically I'll work with a minimum of four sites when I'm testing a particular SEO aspect. So do try to make your testing as consistently scientific as possible. Now it's not 100% possible because we are working on a moving target and according to Google, if we believe them, they're rolling through anything from 350 to 400 algorithm changes a year, at least one a day from their reports. So if that's true, if we're testing say over a four or eight week period, that's many algorithmic changes over that same period which potentially could ruin the results of our testing. However, many of those algorithm changes are pretty small and hopefully at the end of a four to eight week testing period, we've got some very, very good information to work with. But I can't emphasize enough the importance of developing a consistent ongoing testing regime if you're really serious about your SEO and really elevating to a whole different career level 